Hi everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are a current subscriber. Today I'm going to do a video on my current Longchamp collection. I absolutely love Longchamp, I really like their bags and I think their overall style is something that really fits with me um, and something that I really just like in general. So my collection has changed quite a bit over time. Um, if a bag doesn't work for me, I do get rid of it. I don't hold on to things unless, you know, there's some sort of sentimental value maybe around it, but otherwise if it's not working for me or if I'm just not grabbing it too much or you know whatever the reason is um, I will usually switch it out. I do have one slight regret in terms of a bag that I have let go in the past but otherwise I'm really happy with my collection so far so I'm going to show you what I currently have and also kind of discuss the bags that I used to have um, and of course the regret that I have for letting go of one of them but otherwise I will also end it with my current wish list in terms of long shot pieces. So I'm going to go with um, the largest two smallest in terms of bags so this is actually the only remaining piece that I have uh, in my collection in terms of the first video that actually is currently on my channel and that is this club piece so as you can see it's huge this is the La Pliage um, club line and it is in the large travel bag and yeah so this is what it looks like it's in the really nice uh, navy with the red trim and although I love this color I actually meant to get the large shopping tote not the travel bag this is actually huge and I've only used it a number of times since I've had it so this is actually the only piece right now that I'm considering uh, letting go of but I haven't made up my mind quite yet it's a great piece though I think if you do travel a lot this fits definitely the carry-on size um, but otherwise I think it would be a fantastic bag if you were going overnight somewhere for maybe a whole weekend or something like that and it is really well made so this is that in that video I actually have a small um, in the classic line a small shopping tote which I no longer have it was in a beige color and was fantastic I used that bag so many times but over the years I found that I was actually reaching a different long shop bag in my collection and the bag that I regret letting go was actually the large shopping tote uh, in the nail line so I no longer have that bag I used that bag actually a ton when I did have it and I think the nail line is fantastic in terms of quality and durability in comparison to other nylon pieces that I have from Longchamp um, specific to the, like the classic line and the club line. I think that one in terms of the corner wear and all of that was really durable in comparison. I used that a ton of times and I saw barely anywhere on the corners. So if you are considering either getting um, one of the regular nylon pieces or something from the nail line, I do highly recommend the nail line if that's a style you do like in terms of the colorway and everything. I sold that because I thought I could replace it with the medium short handle with the long strap but then I consequently sold that piece because it didn't work out for me. I realized it was just a little bit too big for a crossbody bag on me and I didn't like how it sat on my um, stature so that ended up going and now I don't have anything from the nail line. But moving forward um, I have this piece in my collection. This is one of my most used bags. This is a Longchamp Le Pliage uh, collection piece and it's in the small shopping tote. So I really like seeing what they come up with every year, every season in terms of their Le Pliage uh, collection line um, and this one was one of them that I thought was just really nice. I thought you know it was a little bit more unique. It's a coated canvas but it really went well with so many different outfits. Super easy to wear and I've used this a ton. And moving forward I have this LGP nylon pouch. This has been great. I use this a ton of times in larger bags for organizational purposes. I think it is great and I do really like the LGP line and especially I liked this kind of khaki color um, and the kind of bright zipper pull as well. Next I have this piece this is the nylon, um, I think it's called the Clutch. Unfortunately, they don't make a ton of this uh, model. I think it's really great and, you know, a great alternative if you want a more reasonable priced nylon like mini bag. Um, you can just about fit over your shoulder. I mean, it, there's not much room at all, but you can do that if you like. This has been a great grab and go, especially uh, to put again in my larger bags. If I just need to grab something out of it um, to go somewhere quickly, this was always a great option. Um, I really like this piece. This is also another 
item from a Longchamp Le Pliage uh, collection line and uh, it's been fantastic. They still offer this model in the LGP line uh, but I haven't seen it in the nail anymore um, and I haven't seen any recent uh, collection pieces either with this unfortunately but I think you could definitely find this maybe on the secondhand market um, but otherwise if you're interested in this they do have it in the LGP line currently. And finally my last item is this little coin purse and you've probably seen this if you've been around uh, in a bunch of my videos. I constantly use this as a little catch-all to transfer amongst all my different bags. When I'm moving between different bags it just fits all my essentials that I need and everything. So we need like chapstick, some medication, um, some band-aids, some, you know, hair ties, that sort of thing. And it's really great. It's in this cute light pink color and uh, I have no complaints on this. And I really like this item. And I highly recommend if you are looking for a little pouch. So besides that, I'm gonna actually share um, on the screen my current wish list or things that I'm you know looking at and interested in seeing from Longchamp. Now the first thing that I have been eyeing for quite some time now is actually in their Le Foulene line and it's their leather tote and specifically in the caramel color. I love the look of this bag. I think it's really simplistic yet interesting and a little bit different. I also really like that it has a nice drop to the strap length and on top of that it's easy closure so I think it'll be so secure and I've been really eyeing this as a you know a great tote bag and specifically for work as well. It's currently $715 Canadian on the website and they do actually have the pale pink color on sale currently for $500 so Hopefully in a long jump sale, uh, eventually maybe the caramel color will go on sale. I did actually miss it. Um, it was available at Holt Renfrew on sale, but I missed it. It's completely sold out by the time I looked. Um, so maybe eventually it will go on sale and I'll definitely want to pick that up. Another piece that I have been eyeing for quite some time now is actually the forced uh, green color in the Le Pliage green line. I've been really interested in that specific line for some time now since it came out um, and specifically that forest color is literally the Longchamp green color and with their packaging, especially with that neon green edge coating just on the tabs, I think it's so lovely. If I do sell my travel bag, I think that would be really great in the large size for the shopping tote or the shoulder bag. And also actually the new color, there's a new color that came out and it's called Lagoon. I think that looks so nice. So it'd be really great to see that in person. And lastly, just to kind of look at, I have been eyeing as well one of the Le Pliage collection lines and it's specifically the navy blue color with the logo in the France flag colors. I think that one's really cute. That's a really nice touch to the design. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, that's my current Longchamp collection. Again, I absolutely love the brand and I am definitely interested in adding a couple more pieces, maybe next year, maybe not. Thank you as always for watching. If you like these types of videos, I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe to my channel. But otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.